Hey, Dr. Bob Cassidy joins us every week to answer your medical questions. Dr. Bob, good to good see you. Guys. Happy, New Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We're talking blood pressure today, Doc. And yeah. before you, uh, you, you're going to get your numbers done here. I am. Um, she's <laughs> giving him permission, so it's all good. We want to know yeah. why is it important to talk about blood pressure? Yeah, mm -hmm. blood pressure is kind of one of those tough topics where, you know, people come into my office and they feel great. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just living their life, and then I say, hey, you've got high blood pressure. And they're like, well, you know, why does that matter? And it can be a tough one because it can be there kind of quietly for mm -hmm. a long time and it can be causing problems. Yes. So over, you know, blood pressure is not going to hurt you in a day or a week, but over the years, if your blood pressure is uncontrolled, you can develop eye problems, your yeah. uh, stroke risk, heart attack risk wow. are increased. Um, it can lead to problems like heart failure and kidney disease. So really, blood pressure can, can lead to a lot of different things, but it is tough because it can be quiet. So it's important to see the doctor regularly and get your blood pressure screened to see if you have high blood pressure. Yeah, and know your numbers. It's really so simple, right, too? It yeah. only takes a matter of minutes. Yeah, so it's actually important when we check people's blood pressure that we have really good, accurate readings because what uh. we care about is kind of what's called like a resting blood pressure. So for instance, mm. if you're you know, at the gym or something and you check your blood pressure right afterwards, your blood pressure is going to be high. That's not really the blood pressure we care about. Gotcha. We care about a blood pressure where you've been sitting down for about five minutes in a comfortable position, mm. feet flat on the ground, back up against the support of the chair. Um, you want to make sure you haven't had any caffeine or nicotine or again been exercising. Make sure your bladder's empty. Again, five minutes or so sitting. So most people when they take their blood pressure, they're kind of just like, going about their day and then they sit down and they take it. So really what we kind of want to talk about today is a good way to get a good blood pressure. So mm -hmm. how about we do that for Lauren? <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> Let's, Let's do, it. do it. So this isn't ideal. You, okay? you know okay. you haven't been sitting here five minutes, but assuming sure. you were. Yeah. Sure. Um, so you want to have a good cuff that um, goes on the upper arm. Okay, the upper arm, right? So not anything above the floor. Correct. Gotcha, yep. okay. Um, some of them do mm -hmm. come with that and you can, um, you know, you can take your blood pressure cuff into your doctor's office okay. and you can get it checked and okay. you can see if it's um, working and gotcha. accurate. But again, you want one that goes on the upper arm. And you didn't, you just want to make sure people know, you didn't squeeze this onto, you just no. kind of wrapped it yeah. around. Just put it on. Yep, put it on light. Okay. Yep, the pressure from the machine will add that. Gotcha. At home, if you're checking your own blood pressure, you want it kind of rested on a table. Okay. When we check someone's blood pressure, we support their arm. So okay. gotcha. let's take a listen okay. here. Gotcha. Here we go. Oh. This is, I'm nervous. It is post holidays and. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's see. That yeah. salt intake so, on the rim of the let's see. <laughs> salt intake. Have you had margaritas this weekend? <laughs> and that usually, salt can do it, right? you do want to be quiet when you're checking your blood pressure. Oh. Because <laughs> that can raise it too. <laughs> Sit tight on your arm there. I'm nervous, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be through the roof. Good God. Perfect. Wow. Perfect. 100 over 70. Tell me wow. about those numbers. I get confused. There are two numbers, yeah. right? What does that so mean? Yeah. The, the physics behind the blood pressure cuff is kind of confusing. What we're doing is we're putting enough pressure on your arm so there's no blood flow. Gotcha. So blood flow stops. Okay. And then we slowly lower the blood pressure to the point that the blood can get through. Mm -hmm. That first time that the blood pressure starts to get through is called the systolic number. Um, so we're kind of listening for, oh, I can hear the pulse coming through. So that's the systolic is the top number. And then when the blood pressure is low enough that we don't hear it coming through the cuff anymore, you know, when the blood, when the pressure of the cuff has been released, we call that the diastolic number. And that's sort of more like the blood pressure in the system when the heart isn't beating. So wow. that's what those two do. So top is systolic, bottom is diastolic. Um, the numbers we shoot for, it kind of depends a little bit on your age and what medical problems you have. Generally, everybody we want below 140 over 90. So Lauren today at 100 over 70 is doing fantastic. Wow. Um, Thank you some so people much. we're going to want it even a little bit lower. People with like diabetes, chronic kidney disease, mm -hmm. more around like 130 over 80. So it kind of depends. That's where you work with your doctor on. How do you manage yeah. it? How do you how do you keep it in check? Yeah. So the first thing we recommend for everyone is a heart healthy diet. Yeah. So we talk about that a lot on here. Um, lots yeah. of fruits and vegetables, lean meats like chicken and fish, okay. um, trying to avoid salty foods. So, you know, anything with tons of added salt, really anything that you're, you know, taking, you know, plastic covering off and throwing in the microwave, not a good uh, option. Good yeah. foods, you know, for blood pressure are things that don't have labels on them. Again, fruits and vegetables, lean meats. Um, and then exercise can be really helpful um, for, for uh, blood pressure. And then 
weight overall, we know if people can lose about five to 10% of their body weight, their blood pressure will come down. So we recommend that for everybody. And then in addition, some people even, you know, if they're doing those things and they're not successful or they're struggling with those things, oftentimes we do use medicines, so. And family history plays a role too, is yeah, that right? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yep, okay. so some people, you know, they're, they exercise, they eat well, and they just mm -hmm. have high blood pressure. And some of that is genetics. And mm -hmm. so some people just need medicines and, you know, they work and they help reduce risk. That's so. good. Sounds yeah. good. We're having a less stressful, a healthy <laughs> New Year. Two That's days in. That's a good. You there can't go. blame me My anymore. My blood pressure is good. She always talks about yeah. it. Don't, don't good. rise it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, doctor. Thank you as Great always. Great to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Senior. Rob. Always yeah. send your medical questions. We will yeah. answer them every single week. We've got the doctor here every single Tuesday. We will be right back. <laughs>